everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have found a Christmas mug. It's not my ultimate favorite one because when I got it home, I realized it was pink inside. This is the mug and it's literally what I was looking for. So it's really minimal, just these cute embossed trees. So cute, I'm really, really happy with that. The only thing is, inside of it, I'm sure you can see, is pink, which I wouldn't have chose, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. So I'm really happy with that. So finally, we are starting today's vlog with Christmas hazelnut latte. So we are gonna be having a really Christmassy couple of days. Me and my sister have wanted to pop to London to go and see the lights and just have a cozy Christmassy day. I think I've said Christmassy day a million times, so I apologize for that, but we wanted to go in the autumn originally, but we didn't manage to because our schedules kept clashing. Um, so we're gonna head there really spontaneously tomorrow because we are both off for the entire day. So we've booked our trains and we are heading early tomorrow morning to Euston Station. I have made a total plan of like things that I would like to see while we're there because most of the time whenever I go to London or anything like that especially if I go with my sister we tend to just wing it and then we don't get a lot done or you're kind of standing around thinking right what should we do next and you feel like you're trying to kill time or you know when the mood just drops when everyone starts getting hungry and you feel like you've been walking around doing nothing we're going to avoid that by just getting everything lined up so we know exactly where we're going and when. Whether that turns out like that, I do not know, especially because there are strikes. So we're just gonna see how that goes, but I'm really, really excited to head to London tomorrow. Anyway, today I haven't put my makeup on because I'm going for my very first micro needling facial today. So I'm popping up to Chester to Philip Jeffries and I'm gonna have micro needling done. I've had loads of like chemical peels and everything like that. And when I had the salon, I had a girl Jess who did facials. So I am a fan of facials and looking after my skin, but I thought I would try the micro needling. That's what we're gonna be doing today, just heading to Chester. And then I wanna come home and just make like a really cozy, hearty meal. I am currently wearing a new bodysuit at the moment. This is from Shaper X and I love it. I have been obsessed with these like bodysuits at the moment. I just feel like they go under everything really well, like for layering and they keep you nice and, I know, like warm because they're so tight, they're kinda, they're meant to suck you in, but they just feel snug. It's the most softest, softest material. I also picked one up in black, the same sort of style. They do have normal, like leotard styles, but I don't have many vest tops that I like, that are like this, because sometimes I feel they're hit and miss with the, kind of shape and it can make my shoulders look broad. So I really like these because they make my shoulders still look elegant because of the uh, the angle, the curve here. So I really like that. So I got it in black as well. Also got this, which my plan is to wear this to the gym, especially as it gets warmer, but in the springtime, or even not in the springtime, like just as an outfit, how cute is this? It's like a short unitard. So I really, really like that. Anyway, I don't actually need to get ready because I can't put any makeup on, but we're gonna head now to Chester. it's that I'm not that sensitive to the pain, but I just find it really, really relaxing. If you can hear little like nail noises, it's cause Charlie just keeps jumping up and thinking that the food I'm about to make is his. It's not yours, pal. But yeah, I just had a really, really nice facial. I don't know if anyone's ever said that a microneedling facial is nice, but I loved it and my skin feels nice and glowy. But yeah, I've just come home. I had a little bit of a sleep and chill and now I'm gonna be making some food. I'm back on the gusto. 
I had a break. I had a long break, actually. I don't even know when I last did this. I think it was like early on in the winter. In the winter time, I like to make really hearty meals. And I just find that the Gusto boxes give me everything for that. This is the one I'm making. It's kind of like a mini Christmas dinner and it's making me feel very festive. And don't you think it just looks so nice? So this is the stuffing crust chicken with buttery veg and onion gravy. This is not sponsored by Gusto, by the way. I just really, really enjoy making the food. They do do a refer a friend thing. So I don't have a code. I don't have affiliate ship or anything like that with them, but they do have a refer a friend code. So as your friend, I'm going to link it below because you'll get five meals worth for two people. So for you and your partner, or if you want to do more, you can do more. And I think it's something crazy like 60% off your first box and then 20% off your box for the next couple of months. Even if you do this for one week and then unsubscribe, you get five evening meals. I think we paid £18 or £20 on your first one. So go do that because it's just, that's just unreal value. They make you cook things that you wouldn't think to cook normally. You get like a recipe card, so it helps you. It's really easy. You can also choose calorie controlled meals. You can choose short meals that are like five, 10 minutes. I just go based on how they look. And also we check the macros because Bobby's a fighter, so he does have to have certain macros within his meals or whatever days based on how he's training. Just give it a try because I just found it really convenient. But I'm gonna make food now because Bobby's literally walking through the door. Any second. Giovanna. She's making an appearance in pretty much every video at the minute. Can you see my face? There you go. So we're just heading to the train station now, but there's actually train strikes and stuff, so it could be pretty chaotic. I appreciate the lighting's not great right now, but it's really, really early in the morning, so it's still dark. And um, it's freezing. Like, literally everything is so frozen. We should have a fun Christmassy day. We should. We will. We will have a really Christmassy day. You are the yeah, most random gift She loves ever. it though. She's, she loves it. She wants to go and see a piece of tents. You are the randomest <laughs> gift giver ever. Imagine someone just randomly bought you. You're now the queen of the land. We have arrived at here. Houston Station. Houston Station. Hold on, I'm like, kind of getting a man in the, in the way. <laughs> I'm trying not to like We're going downstairs catch now, people. Well. We are just heading to Battersby. No, we're in, what is it called? We're Battersby, Battersby. Power, Power Station. We're looking for this giant gingerbread station. And we're also fangirling over the fact we just crossed paths with Joanna Lim Lemley on the tube. We did, she smiled, she It said was hi. a moment, it was a rush. We were trying to spot and get on the tube and off the tube. And we just stared at each other for a moment and it was a moment, wasn't it? Yeah. And we can't, we, it was such a, it was a bit weird. Jo Malone. Joe Malone? That's where we've got to get to. Okay, but anyway, we're going to go to this gingerbread house now. We just popped to... Where have we just been to? We've just been to Borough Market. We just went to get a creme brulee donut from Borough Market because it was just trending on Instagram and it looked really nice. So I thought I would try it. Cara wanted to try it. I wanted to try it and then I bought a chocolate donut as well. And then she recorded herself opening it and I and it didn't press record. And so. I didn't press record. Giovanna did not press Cara record. Cara only presses record for me, so I'm sorry, not sorry. So I was basically like ripping this creme brulee cream donut <laughs> and it looked so cute on the phone. And then she was like, oh my God, it didn't record. Because she forgot to press record. It wasn't supposed to happen. 
How cool is this place though? Look at these yeah, amazing yeah. apartments. And they have a Wagamama's. They have a Wagamama's. I'd be there every day. Why do you mean they have a Wagamama? Everyone, Everyone has a Wagamama. No, but underneath No, their it's apartment. actually stunning. This place is so beautiful. I've never been here before, but apparently it's a pier. So there must be water nearby. We've got Christmas trees. It's so Christmassy and magical. We're at a, we're at a shopping centre, Clara. Oh, perfect. Let's go shopping here. H&W, not H&M, but... <laughs> okay, I don't know what H&W is. I don't know either. Anyway, off to the gingerbread house. How cute is this gingerbread man house? Look how cute this is. Oh, let me just stick some lights on because I've just got home. I've just put the heating on and we haven't got back too late, which is really, really nice. It, everything just worked out so, so well. Everything just happened perfectly. So I had a plan. I didn't want to not do the things that I'd wanted to do while we were there. So I made like a Canva mood board for what I was hoping to do while we were there. Basically, without even trying, we ended up doing it all. There was a couple of things that we accidentally fell across even though it's stuff that i'd put on the list to do i wanted to see the butterfly trail and stuff like that but it just so happened that we ended up leaving the tube at the wrong exit we ended up coming out of the tube and just seeing the butterfly trail right in front of me which is one of the things that i'd had on our like bucket list for the day i don't know if we would have even found it to be honest or had the time if we hadn't have come out the tube at the wrong way but everything i'd put on the list we ended up walking there on accident or it just ended up happening so it was just perfect it wasn't too busy i know there's strikes but the strikes didn't affect us it was just such a christmasy magical day just loved it and then we got an earlier train home so we managed to get the fire o'clock train so it wasn't too busy because we'd fit everything in we managed to do a bit of shopping he's trying to get the utmost attention as always we managed to go shopping we managed to just see the gingerbread house and do everything and then it just about went dark it started going very very cold and we saw all the lights and everything went to bond street which is absolutely stunning the way that they do like dior and chanel just all the shops looked absolutely beautiful so we just happened to just see everything and get everything done for the earlier train, which is really nice. I thought I'd be home a lot later. So Bobby's out. 
I have bought him back a Chinese because we got some noodles and a couple of donuts from the donut place. We're all sorted for food. I've eaten already. I'm going to chill. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Yes, my other dog is trying to choke in the background. Well, pretending she's choking in the background for attention. So I'm just going to go and give these. Okay, sheeps, I'm coming now. Right. See you next week. Thanks for watching. Charlie, boy, God's sake. <laughs>